Hi everyone on YouTube. Thanks for joining me. I hope you jump on board and um, stay with us. <laughs> so um, I have some fabrics here that I want to demonstrate to you um, the effects of cutting, cutting your forms, creating your forms. So I do not use, I'm going to push this back, I do not use appliques that are pre-cut. Um, I cut my own forms out of scrap fabric. Now, um, depending on the type of fabric, it can be difficult to uh, cut. And uh, if you're using templates, the problem with the templates, and because I have used them, is the template generally is a very generic shape. So let's say you want some movement to your form. You may not get that necessarily with with the um, the template. So uh, because they're giving you a very general shape, they're they're probably also bringing it out about an eighth of an inch or an inch because maybe it's a template that um, was put together for a sewing uh, and stuffing project. So it may not be even the size that you really want. But um, now I, I just want to show you this little uh, tiny piece of artwork I did a little while ago. This is, you know, this is what they call fabric painting. You take fabrics and um, you can glue it onto canvas, you can glue it onto a card, you know, you're creating a scene with the fabrics. This was a very silky, floppy fabric. Um, this was too. This is actually, I'm going to show you, that's this fabric right here. This is another floppy. Um, and this is a fat quarter here. This is a fat quarter. This was uh, a little floppy and it had sequins, has sequins in it. So that was a little tricky. So um, it, it was um, depending on the fabrics you're using. Now I would say try to stay with your fat quarters. Now I'm going to show you the difference here. This is just a little flop. This is linen. Linen works okay. Now there's a couple of scissors. There's the Pekin, um, Pekin scissors and the regular scissors. So um, th these come in all sizes. And um, the nice thing about these scissors is um, that they uh, generally will uh, cut so that there's not a lot of fraying or it's very minimal. Um, these most likely you'll get you'll get some fraying. But I am going to use these because they're just easier for me uh, to sh show you. <clears throat> so I'm going to put this down a little bit. And so we're going to cut out, let's say we'll cut out a heart here. Okay, that cut nicely and look it looks like a heart beautiful um the jean material i'm probably gonna i'm cutting out hearts because i always use hearts so this one i'm gonna make just a little smaller i will use those hearts believe me in some project so we'll cut out another heart Now, I do want to uh, show you a little trick if you're trying to make mushrooms. Um, someone was, uh, based on that last project I did, someone want, wants to do mushrooms too. And they're very popular and whatnot. So um, if you take this heart and you cut this straight across, first make your heart. Guess what you have? You have the top of a mushroom. And if you take this right here, the piece that piece of scrap fabric you were just working with, you can place your mushroom. That's how I did the mushrooms. 
Uh, I mean, I didn't make a heart and then cut it. I just, I just, uh, I'll show you how I did the mushrooms. I just, I just took a piece of fabric. But look, this is the other side of the heart. So if I wanted to take this scrap fabric right here. I want that to be a stem. There's there's my stem. Isn't that adorable? And you can turn 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 your the head of the the mushroom so it's it's kind of moving a little. If you want your stem to move, cut it in two and kind of bend it a little and either sew it to sew it together because you do in your sashiko stitching. That's the same method I would use if I was gluing. But um, that's how, I, now another way to make mushrooms for uh, people who are struggling with mushrooms. Um, let's see here. Let me get, you can make a circle. You can just cut out a circle. There's a circle and then just cut it in half. Now that's kind of, that's adorable too. That's really cutesy. Mushrooms come in all sizes and shapes, actually so many shapes. Now this top, okay, so if I wanted this to be a mushroom or this one. Now mushrooms you know, yes, they're shaped like umbrellas, but they're also shaped. Um, they have they have points at the top. They're kind of um, curly, cute, curly, wavy down at this area. So let's say you get so now you got the top of of your mushroom, and you want to give it some flair. Just kind of some of those mushrooms in that piece I did are wavy, and you can't see it because of the um so i gave gave this one a little wave but you can't see it because of the stitching so um that's that's adorable right that's adorable now if you are working with fabrics like this and you're cutting especially if you're beginning let me show you the difference it's going to be it is going to be difficult because i have a lot of experience I know how to make hearts. You just saw me make the hearts and the mushrooms. And so now I'm gonna cut this. I'm already struggling to hold this because it's flippy fl floppy. And okay, that did come out okay. <laughs> but it may not have. <laughs> because this is very difficult to work with. This is flippy floppy, silky. The easier fabrics to work with are like this, your fat quarter, your linen, so your uh, denim. So they have a little more substance to them. Now, if you're working with the template and you cut your your fabrics according to the template. Now you've got them cut out and they don't look right to you. Amend them a little bit. You know, maybe, maybe, um, maybe for the mushroom, uh, it's a template most likely with a stem. And maybe after you cut it, the sides of, of the top didn't look right. So trim that or trim the, the uh, stem, get it the way that you want it. And just sit with it over a cup of coffee, have a little Zen moment, concentrate, meditate a little bit, and let your vision come to you. And so you can uh, create the type of vision that you want, the type of, um, let's say, wall hanging that is, you know, hearts or mushrooms or flowers or tree someone someone was telling me how much they love the the beautiful na uh, natural um themes and i do too i think they're they're so beautiful um so anyway now i hope that that helps a little bit um so i'm showing you how to do this without the template 
but certainly use your template as a tool and maybe don't be afraid to cut it a little bit more to how you would like it after you've cut it out and it's not looking like you want. And do do your forms in pieces. Um, because sometimes trying to do that one whole piece. Now with this, th these are all pieces. Now I have made uh, birds for 30 years. I I did a whole uh, collection of cards of illustrations of birds of Vermont birds 30 years ago and I, I can make a bird super simple. So this bird I did do as one piece but I will tell you if I was just beginning for sure I would be doing it in sections because that one piece cutting out might be a little too difficult. These are pieces that I added so that's all um, done in different different pieces. Anyway, um, so I hope that that helps and um, keep the questions coming. If I didn't hit the nail on the head with this video, I am more than happy to contemplate more explanation on putting together um, forms. So you have a beautiful day.